What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to do another laser wavelength comparison. So I have two blue lasers in this video. The first one is going to be the one that I just most recently reviewed. It's the Spider 2 BX 473 nanometer 5 to 10 milliwatt laser pointer. And it's the one you guys are seeing right here in this room filled with fog. And then the other laser is one that I previously reviewed, and that is the generic Chinese pen style 445 nanometer 5 milliwatt laser pen. So these two lasers are pretty much the exact same power rating, which is going to make for a cool comparison because you're getting um, the same power of two different colors, so it's not thrown off by different levels of power. Uh, you'll see a very good comparison at the same amount of brightness, basically. And here's the comparison right here, and obviously what you're going to notice is that the 473 has a lot more visibility because it is a lot closer on the spectrum to 555 nanometers, um, which is the peak visibility color to the human eye. That is the color or wavelength that is the most visible to humans, so the closer you are to 555, the more visible your laser will be, and that's why the green ones are so visible, because they're in the, um, in the lower 500s, like 532. And the 445 almost has some hints of UV purple to it. You're going to see that on the camera here. It's a much deeper blue. It's a much darker blue than the 473. And something else that's pretty important to note is that these two beams are being produced through two different methods. The 473 is produced through DPSS and the 445 is produced through a direct diode. And I'm going to do more on that in an upcoming video. I'm going to describe the differences for you guys. but. In this video, I'm just going to kind of do surface level and show you guys the comparison of these two colors. So the DPSS, the 473, has a more um, circular uh, fine dot, and the direct diode 445 has more of a rectangular beam, as you can probably see through this. So that pretty much wraps up this little wavelength comparison. I just wanted to show you guys this because I did recently get my hands on this 473. And it is still a pretty exotic wavelength for laser hobbyists. You don't see it very often, and it still usually runs for well over $100 and into sometimes a couple of hundred dollars. But I thought it was a pretty cool comparison to show, and I'm probably going to do more of these comparisons in the future. So if you guys found this video interesting in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing laser videos just like this. And as always, guys, thank you for watching from XM360.